Hello and welcome to the DT Briefly, Thursday, September 18th, 2014. My name is Justin Gonzalez, staff writer for the Daily Toreador. Here are today's top headlines. Lubbock community members, officials, and family of Timothy Cole gathered at the Timothy Cole Memorial Park Wednesday to honor him with the unveiling of, of the Timothy Cole statue. Texas Tech made a new rule that went into effect at the beginning of September that will no longer allow any student employees to work over 20 hours a week. Not all sororities on campus are directly connected to the Greek Panhellenic Society. Some consider themselves more of an organization, a group of people with a common purpose that serve those around them, such as the Miller Girls and Gamma Alpha Omega. These organizations are different from Greek sororities in many ways, including that they begin their recruitment process two weeks after classes begin. The Children and Adults Theatrical Studio is presenting an adapted version of The Awakening of Spring by Frank Windekind and features various Texas Tech students. CAD's box office manager, theater board member, and director of the play, Zachary Kokurik, adapted the play now called Spring Awakening. The show premieres Friday and will have other showings on September 20th, 26th, and 27th, as well as October 3rd and 4th. Texas Tech senior defender Jaylene Hinkle and junior forward Janine Becky earned national recognition Tuesday after victories against then number 11 California and Abilene Christian last weekend, according to a Texas, Texas Tech athletic news release. Becky was honored with a spot on Top Drawer's Soccer National Team of the Week. Meanwhile, Hinkle made it on the CollegeSoccer360.com honor roll. For full stories, pick up a copy of the Daily Toreador or visit DailyToreador.com. For the DT Briefly, I'm Justin Gonzalez.